This is a quick introduction to using point cloud data in VRGS. I'm using version 2.46 build 2. If you haven't got that version installed, you can go to the download update button here, which should be active, and download the new version from there. Right, so I've already started VRGS. I'm going to start a new project, and I'm just going to call this test. LAS and when that's started I'm going to go to the data tab import item and from the list of file types I'm going to use LAS and I've got a LAS file here Now depending on how big your LAS file is this might take a while to load this is a fairly small one can see here we've got around 2 million points in this one. Now at the moment this has no um, RGB information in it but it does have intensity from the from the LiDAR. If we want to add some um, RGB information for elevation we can right click false color elevation and then when I switch off the intensity attribute back on again you can now see we've got color for elevation now there's a few rogue points in here which we can clean up so I can use the select tool to select those points delete selected points you will see the bounding box snap to the extents of the data I'm going to go back to move mode and then I will go back to false color and regenerate the elevation data All right so now we've got a data set tidied up a bit with our RGB elevation information as well once we're in this state, we can go straight ahead and start to interpret. So it's best here to switch off the bounding boxes so we don't get anything in the background. And then we can just draw polylines. And that will snap as you're drawing to the closest vertex on the point cloud. We can do geobodies bodies as well. And of course, we can do orientations. So when you do the orientation data, it's best to use auto size and it will fit that uh, orientation measurement, show the, the um, visualization of the orientation to fit the size of the data you just selected or just interpreted. So some of the other things that we can now do is uh, we can change the um, level of detail so in point clouds I'm going to change my level of detail distance from 5000 to we can switch it to 200 and you should now be able to see that it's decimated that data and as I move in and out around where my cursor is you can see how it's adaptively decimating with distance which gives you a faster visualization. So if I go back to 1000 or maybe to 1000 it moves that decimation distance further away. And if we bring it down to say 300 again you can see that it's decimated the data quite a lot close to us and that will make the visualization quicker. And there you can see the effect of the decimation a lot more effectively. If we want to split our data, we can do operations tile split along the different axes. And when we do that, it splits our model up and puts it in a subgroup we can split it into two different sections which will make working on it a little bit easier. 
if we're working on very big data sets.